Hi, St. Peter's Sunday School friends. Hope you're all safe and warm and healthy. Good to have you back, our Sunday School lesson. Today, as is always, the Gospel Project is what we're following. And a reminder, of course, always every story we tell from the Bible is God's Word and is true. So, a little review from the week last. We learn from the stories about Joseph that God used his suffering to put him in a position of authority in Egypt. God sent Joseph to Egypt to establish a remnant. When the Israelites kept growing in number, Pharaoh feared them and made them slaves. God planned all along for this. God called Moses to deliver his people from captivity. This week, we will learn about what God did through Moses and his brother Aaron to deliver his people from Pharaoh. Our story is called The Plagues and the Passover. This is from the second book in the Old Testament of the Bible from Exodus. <clears throat> God's people, the Israelites, were slaves in Egypt. They cried out to God, and God called Moses to rescue them. So Moses and his brother Aaron went to Pharaoh. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Let my people go. But Pharaoh responded, Who is the Lord, and why should I obey him? Israel may not go. So God sent ten plagues to punish the Egyptians. First God turned the water in the Nile River into blood, but Pharaoh would not let the people go. God sent frogs into Egypt, and Pharaoh said, Ask your God to take away the frogs, then I will let your people go. But when God removed the frogs, Pharaoh refused to let the people go. So God sent gnats into Egypt that bit the people and animals. Then God sent flies, and he caused all the livestock to die. Still Pharaoh did not let the people go. God sent boils that covered the people in Egypt. But Pharaoh's heart was hard. Not even a terrible hailstorm changed Pharaoh's mind. And God sent locusts that ate up all the plants. And then darkness covered the land for three days. But still, Pharaoh said no. God told Moses, I will bring one more plague. After that, Pharaoh will let you go. Moses warned Pharaoh, God will go through Egypt. Every firstborn male in Egypt will die. But the Israelites will be safe. Pharaoh ignored Moses. So God told every Israelite family to kill a lamb and sprinkle its blood on the doorposts of their houses. This would be a special mark that God would see and pass over. No one in the Israelites' families would die. At midnight, God struck every firstborn in the land of Egypt. There was a great cry in the land of Egypt because there wasn't a house without someone dead. Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron. Go, he said. The Israelites were ready. A whole army of them, 600,000 men and their families, left Egypt quickly. They took bread and their animals. They asked the Egyptians for gold, silver, and clothing. The Egyptians gave them anything and everything they wanted. God let his people out of Egypt, and he was preparing a place for them in a land called Canaan. For 430 years, 
the Israelites had been slaves in the land of Egypt. They were finally free. Interesting story there. All right, my friends, let's take a look here at the Gospel Project lesson that you have. The big picture. We started together with Joseph sent to Egypt. We read about Joseph explaining dreams. Joseph saved his family. Jesus was born. Moses was born and called. And now today our story of the plagues and the Passover. So as is always true, you have a couple of sheets that you can do at home. This one here is called Plague Scramble. Instructions are to number the plagues from 1 to 10 according to the order they occurred. So you'll have to go back to Exodus and you can read about that again. And then on the back side, always you have a coloring sheet. Today the story point being God delivered his people and proved that he is the one true God. So here, always good reminders, our key passage and the big picture question. Is there anything God cannot do? God can do all things according to his character. And these are words that I've added. We have learned with our stories so far. God is powerful and good to carry out all his perfect plans. God will never do the wrong thing or do bad things because God is perfectly good. All right, here's one of the questions today. What were the 10 plagues? That might be important to some, but here's another question I thought might be even more interesting and good to ponder. Why do you think God sent plagues to punish Egypt? Because Pharaoh refused to obey God. He didn't listen to Moses and Aaron. Remember the story? God sent the plagues to punish Egypt to prove his power. Here's another question. Why do you think God told the Israelites to sacrifice a lamb because it pointed forward to when Jesus would come. Then the last question here, who is the Lamb of God and why is he called that? There are the words they share. By his grace, God spared the Israelites from judgment by requiring the blood of a lamb Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. His death was the ultimate sacrifice, and those who trust in Christ are under his saving blood and will be passed over in the final judgment. Good to have you with us. Here's our prayer before we say goodbye. Dear God, thank you for displaying your awesome power. Only you can save your people. Give us courage to boldly proclaim the gospel and help us live for your glory. Amen. Have a good week. Bye.